What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and I was lucky enough to get the new N7 Valkyrie, uh, which is a, they've just added it to the commendation packs, so you can now, you now have a chance to get this, it's a new assault rifle, and you can see the stats for yourself, and I decided to put the extended barrel and piercing mod on, just because those are two generally good attachments. And so I went into a game, and I'm using the Turian uh, Sentinel, so I do have a little bit of a... Stability bonus now his stability bonus was not leveled up all the way in this gameplay and the gun is still pretty stable When this uh, video was actually processing I did um, Try it with a normal human and the stability is worse, but not like Argus bad I would say as you can see I am just taking guys down so easily. This is a, a double burst um, assault rifle so the other the Argus and the I can't remember the other name of the the other triple burst one so this is an E, I think, for some reason. Anyway, those are both, yeah, triple burst. This is only a double burst. So you have 16 rounds in a clip, and so that's eight bursts. Now, you can always put extended mags on, and I, honestly, that's something that I was kind of thinking, toying with putting on, um, and that would definitely be a good attachment because uh, this gun isn't the best. Uh, no, actually, you know what? The, re the reload is fast enough that it's not that much of an issue. However, it would just would be nice to have overall more uh, bullets in a clip in a magazine. And uh, as you can see, I'm just showing you how it is against bosses. It isn't anything amazing. Um, so I took it back and I decided to put a sight on it. Now, I could have used the thermal sight, but I decided just to use my precision sight because I had it to 5 and just better accuracy bonus. This is the very first clip when I entered the game. And as soon as I shot that guy, I was like, yes, this is a good combination. This gun, when you put the scope on it, is like a goddamn sniper rifle. It is so... It's basically an 8-shot sniper rifle. As you can see, just took that um, Hunter out. Full shields and everything in just a matter of seconds. And, um... So yeah, this thing, and I will, full disclosure, this is bronze difficulty, so this isn't anything amazing. Uh, I, again, when the video was processing, I played up to silver, and it was still really good up to silver, but I don't know how it would be up to gold. I'm just showing you right here just how accurate this thing is. Um, now, that that is with paired. Now, my Turian um, Sentinel in this does have the stability bonus maxed out, so... I would recommend if you use this gun to use it with a Turian so you get that accuracy, um, sorry, the stability bonus. Now, if you don't have a Turian or you don't want to use him, you can just slap the um, stability, uh, the, d the damper on and just as an attachment and then use like a damper and a sight maybe and then don't use the damage increase because this gun's damage is pretty high already. Now, um, yeah, I'm just showing you this is how I would describe this gun is just. Uh, an infantry bane like it is just so good against infantry and bosses again not so much although like the geth bomber this geth bomber i can take down pretty darn quickly um considering this is just a normal assault rifle now uh, i'm going to show you in two seconds uh so the coolest part about this gun is that a i did discover that a burst is like one burst is a one-shot headshot if you get both bursts to the head on a full shielded guy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.